Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys five magical features for the S Pen on your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so the very first thing I want to talk about is the ability to unlock your Samsung Galaxy S22 with your S Pen. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to turn off the phone and then I'm going to grab my S Pen, okay? And all I'm going to do is I am going to press this button right here uh, on the S Pen. When I click that button, it is going to take a couple seconds and it's going to unlock the phone. So that is absolutely fantastic. Let me show you how to get this set up. So what you do have to do is you have to go to your settings. Then you want to scroll down a little bit. Then you want to go to advanced features. You tap on this one, then you go to S Pen. All right. Once you're in the S Pen, there's an option here that says S Pen Unlock. Now I'm going to disable this and it's going to ask me to put in my PIN number, which is fine because I'm showing you guys how to set it up from the beginning. Undo it, then I am going to actually set this up for the first time. This is what you're going to see when you launch this menu. You click on it, it is going to ask you to confirm your PIN number, so you do that. Once that is done, you tap on Next. And then you're going to see that it is enabled. Just go inside and make sure use S Pen is available. Don't do this one. Do this one. Then click on OK. Now, what's going to happen is the very first time you lock your phone and try to unlock it with the S Pen, it is not going to work. It's going to ask you to put in your PIN number or your fingerprint. Okay? And you're going to do that the first time to register the whole thing. So press the button, wait for that thing to pop up, put your fingerprint. Now you're ready to go. Everything is registered. Now, as long as your S Pen is sitting on the table like this, let's say you're doing something, then you pick up the S Pen to write something, then you put the S Pen again, and let's say your phone just locks or you lock it yourself. Now what you can do is you can grab it, press the button, and it's going to unlock the phone as you just saw. Let's try that one more time. Grab the pen, press the button, and it's going to unlock the phone, no problem. So that's feature number one. Let's move on and talk about the other magical feature. All right, so the next thing that we have here is, this is actually works in a lot of different situations. Let me show you the example. So for example, if I pull up the app drawer, you can see that the keyboard did not pop up automatically. That's because the phone knows I have the S Pen in my hand. So what you can do with the S Pen is you can simply, if you see any field like this, you can write directly into it and whatever you write is going to be converted into text automatically. So I'm going to click right here. Okay, the keyboard did not pop up, but when you bring the pen close to the screen, you can see a writing symbol. So I can actually write something. So let me just search for an application. Let's say my files. So it's, it, I just typed in my, it converted that to text, and my files came up right here. So you can write anything that you want right here, and it's going to convert that into text. Now that same feature is also going to work in other areas. So for example, if I launch the Chrome web browser, okay, let's say I want to type in www something in the browser here. I'm going to tap on this guy, and you can see the keyboard came up, but I can bring this here, tap, and as soon as I tap, I see that writing symbol. I can actually uh, write with the S Pen, www.googlewhatever.com. And you can see that I'm writing in very badly with my left hand here. But that goes on to show you how good the translation is. So it said www.google.com. So you can write into that field whatever that you want. You can do the same thing with the text messages application. So here's a text message. I can actually come here to the text field and start writing. So I can say, hi, how are you? That's gonna be with your S Pen. As soon as you finish writing, it's gonna convert that to text. And also, you even get a little pop-up tool. So let me just say, again, just I'm just gonna say hi one more time. And look at this, you get this thing. You can put smileys, you can put a space, you can X. And you can also switch back to the keyboard if you want to type in. When you do that, it's going to be a pop-up keyboard, all right? Just so you know. Click that, it goes back down. But you can write here anything you want 
instead of having to type it. So that's another way to use your S Pen, which is fantastic. And remember, you can do this in any text field that you want. All right, so let's move on to the next feature. All right, so next feature is amazing. So this has to do with your calendar application. So let's launch that and see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna just uh, type in write calendar. So they came right up. I'm gonna tap it. Now look what I can do with the calendar. On the top right, when you hover over this button, it says write. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it and I can actually write on my calendar as you can see. I can make markings and whatever. And the best part is, if I want to get really precise, I can zoom in up to 400 times and make markings and stuff or write whatever you want to do, even access your pen to change the pen's thickness or color and just take your notes on your calendar. Now, the good news is when you save this, okay, and you exit the calendar, when you go back into your calendar, you are going to see that those settings, I mean, those writings are saved on your calendar. Truly fantastic feature uh, for being more organized and also getting that real paper-like feeling with your calendar. And of course, you can continue to add regular entries to the calendar, as you can see. So I can just click on any date and just add regular entries, no problem. And I can write, okay? And I do want to emphasize that you can pick different colors to make different markings, okay? So it is unlimited customization in relation to the calendar with the S. Let's move on to the next tactic. Now the next feature has to do with Samsung Notes application. So that's the application that is designed specifically for the S Pen. So you grab your S Pen and you tap right here and you can start, you know, picking a pen that you want and you can start writing and stuff. Now here's what I like. I like to create flow charts when I'm taking notes, okay? And that's just for work or pleasure. Now, normally when I draw a triangle, it actually is a very nasty looking triangle or even, I'm sorry, that's a circle. So if I do a triangle, look at that. It looks, uh, doesn't look very good. Or a square, looks like crap. So what you can do is you can swipe down here. You can click on this button. So this bar swipes over. You click on this button that says auto fix shapes. And now I can draw a triangle and it's going to convert that to a perfect triangle or a circle. Okay. This is going to be great because if I want to scroll down and I want to create some kind of flow charts, maybe I want to do a square and then I want to draw an arrow. Look at that. The arrow is going to be perfect. So I can do things like that. That wasn't supposed to be a heart and I can just draw like that. Okay. By the way, that was not supposed to be a heart but you get the idea. So you can create beautiful flow charts. And of course, you can write in here if you have to. Go back to the pen and just start writing inside. Fantastic. Just make sure before you, before you start writing, you uncheck this box, okay? Because if you keep this box checked, it's gonna try to make everything perfect. So if you uncheck it, you can go back to writing like you're a doctor, as you can see. All right, so the final thing I want to talk about has to do with the Air Command menu. So basically, when you press this button, what happens is the Air Command menu comes up. And as you can see, it takes a lot of the screen. So in this case, it's not a big deal. But if you're doing something in the background and you do not want to obstruct the view, you can make this smaller. So what you do is you tap on Settings right here. Okay, once you're in the Settings, you scroll down and you go to Menu Style. You tap on it and you tap on compact, okay? Now once you enable that, now when I pull up my air command, it is going to be much small, manageable, and you're not gonna be obstructing any views. All right, and that brings us to the end of this video. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for many more videos to come. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.